It's Monday morning. It is nearly half past ten and it's a different one for me today. There's no Adam, it's just me. And I've been invited to come on on the tools video of some sort. I can't remember what's for. It's electrician's thing, Ema Bobby. I'm over at Fort Dunlop, which is behind me, which is their recording studio on the edge of Birmingham. So left the house early this morning, come here to do that. Tidied the van a little bit in case they wanted to do some stuff in here. Um, yeah, it'd be an interesting one. On the tools have messaged me probably 40 times to come and do videos with them in the past. It's not, that's not a brag, it's just picking and choosing the right one uh, because they do, do a few different things. So it'd be interesting to see what it's going to be about, an interview, probably stuff that you've all heard before that I've mentioned about. So um, yeah, if I can find it, if it's out, I'll link it to this video, which I don't think it will be because it's normally processed in time. Um, but yeah, you'll see me share about it on Instagram. So let's get inside. Have a walk around. I'm not going to take the camera because I'm not going to permit to film anything, but it'd be interesting to catch up afterwards. So uh, wish me luck, guys. Right, I've just got back home. It is four minutes past three, so you all guys know there. Uh, had a great time, great interview. Uh, a guy called Andy, he is a spark as well, and he's been doing it for years, but he works it sort of full time for On The Tools. Some stuff that they mentioned to me that they want to do in the future with some presenting stuff, which is very cool, because like I said earlier, they have been in contact for a while to do stuff it's just not the right thing that's come along but yeah it was a really cool experience their office is absolutely sick as well they uh they've got like almost like a google office setup if you know what i mean where it's massive open plan there's pool tables there's ping pong tables there's fr snack bars like fridges full of whatever drink you want you just help yourself and a very cool environment to work in i can see that place being like well you're gonna have to work four days a week or three days a week oh, very cool very cool that's all I'll say. So go and check that out. We were talking to Andy pre-interview, pre-podcast about the cool things that actually come with YouTube. And obviously I mentioned the tool bag. He said, have you got one on you? So I went to the van and I got to show off it. I got to show the tool bag off that I created and talk about it, how it came about on the podcast, on the tools, which is a massive platform compared to obviously mine. And um, yeah, it was a nice little, little, little thing to slide it in there and go, oh yeah, check that out. Velocity Pro Gear. NB100 back, yeah, cool, buy it. Um, so yeah, it was interesting. So I've got stuff to edit, I've got paperwork to do. Tomorrow is um, the installer show, so we will be filming there, taking the GoPro along, walking around everyone, having a chin wag, and uh, hopefully some of you guys that are watching this will have been there and had a chat with me and got some footage. So I will see you tomorrow. It's Tuesday, and it is Tuesday because Today is the installer show, and you might see this wicked microphone that I bought to go around and say hello to people. Adam, uh, I forgot about that. What are your thoughts on today? Are you excited? Oh, <laughs> dare sort of microphone. Um, so we're going to head over there. We'll get a bit of footage, but I'm going to try and do a separate video on this. Go around the different stands, try and be a YouTuber. Go around. <laughs> careful that's, that's, that's a rare word around me and you uh, we're gonna have a good day um we've been asked to go to a few stands have a chat have a bit of an interview about it and uh, meet with some some guys that watch us and just have a nice day maybe spend some money fancy it yeah, oh we could do a video on your channel nick gave me his car let's see how much stuff i could buy <laughs> fancy it absolutely not it's me, mate. Right, very rear accelerator. Let's just let's push everything. I just want to get the cool battery in the background. I'm um, accelerating with Rob. So, Rob, do you want to tell us? I'm, I'm not you. Not used to this. Do you want to tell us a little bit about Acceleron? What it's about? Yeah, Acceleron um, is a battery manufacturer predominantly. So, um, this particular product um, is a is a standard battery, 12 volt, 24 volt, 48 volt um, solution. The big thing about this is a lithium ion, but it's it's, um, you can maintain it. You can yes. replace. You can once it's. If any other individual cells within within this battery fail, you take it apart, replace those cells. Which is massive. It's the only one in the world. It's massive. So you, you buy it once. The waste that would get from any normal storage batteries, especially with the EVs as well. Once it's gone, it's gone, isn't it? It's it, gone. That's it. But with yeah. this, 30% less carbon to make each battery itself. Absolutely. Which is a bonus. Save them my research. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, just there. There it is. Um, also as well, we have been into a few lofts recently and seen power walls where realistically it looks like they've just took batteries out of a car, stuck them in the loft and gone, there you go mate. Yeah, yeah. But these ones do look nice and the fact that you can, I would say service and recharge and get back out, what's the sort of life after that, after a service? Um, well you can repurpose these batteries and we do repurpose these with a different collar on Okay. and then they'll, they'll go out and have other, other 
other jobs to do. Um, but this this particular battery has got we warrant it for three thousand cycles, so wow. ten years, ten years. So um, and well, now you use it. <laughs> I mean, the nice thing is you're talking about putting them up in lofts. Yeah. And, they're just very the nice. Uh, yeah, because you know, uh, to replace this battery with a with a lead acid, it would weigh twice as yes. twice as much at least. Yeah, because I've just that. picked up the one behind there, and it's it's not too heavy. You can easily pick up one hand. You can easily take it into a loft. Um, what are the normal uh, operating temperatures that we can expect? Because obviously the ones that we went into the loft it gets really hot, but then my neighbours got them outside, get really cold. Does it vary much with the temperature? Or are they no, the fight for, for, for UK environments are absolutely fine. Um, Sweat. Strangely, <laughs> strangely inside here, um, the, it's got a battery management system in, so okay. it monitors itself. So it has uh, temperature sensors that monitor the cores in the battery. So if they do get too warm, not like it's happening in this country, but if they do... It's not going to pop. It shuts, it shuts them down. It shuts them down. So Very they don't, clever don't bit of nice It's a great idea. system. Little, you, do you, is it UPS that we normally sort of have in offices? It's, it's a bit like a UPS. Yeah, like like but, yeah. but it uses the same cores, exactly the same cores as, as goes in the normal. essential. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. And that I, I personally see that as being a domestic spot. This is going to be more and more and more and more. Five, ten years down the line, twenty years down the line, most people are going to have this system. It it's going to have the cost to be. of power at the moment. You can't waste the sunlight. You can't waste that, that, that power coming to the home. And to be fair, the, the way the world's going, every summer's getting hotter and hotter. You've got solar panels on. You're fully charging these up. It's free electricity. Yeah, Barbados is one of our biggest. Uh, Biggest, biggest well, depending on how well my YouTube career goes, I'll be there soon. <laughs> right, thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, Sorry, I'm really sweaty. <laughs> right, this is Acceleron Off Gen, which is their power storage system, which comes in this big, waterproof, robust case. There you are, Adam. Nice. Good camera angles there, Ad. So this case gets dropped off as a solid one unit that is, from what I can see and what we just spoke about, very simple and easy to install for most domestic sparks. Plumbers wouldn't be able to do this at all. Um, but yeah, it's literally most of it, plug and play, high wire into the mains, you've got your inverter, you've got your isolation switches. Is This is dropped off, bolted into place. I presume you would, would bolt this into the floor or to the wall so that it doesn't fall over. But really, looking at it, it should be a very simple procedure. Wire it in, do your checks, commission it, and you should be up, up and running by lunchtime, yeah? So, no, it's a nice bit of kit. Do you want to shut the lid, Dad? Look at that. And I like this as well. Just adds it, doesn't it? Yeah. I've got something to show you. Go on, hit me. So me and Nikhil, this is my colleague Nikhil. Uh, we've done an install, yeah? So. That's sick. That's mint. So we sprayed everything. He done most of the work. Marble colours. Yeah. Absolute bang on. Some LEDs on the trunk and everything. everything. So I've got another one going on. He's got another Sorry. one going on as well right now. I'll That's show you a wicked. sneak peek of mine. Yeah, go on. Um, I don't really show no one, but we'll be the first Well, the one. world now. <laughs> Oh mate, that's well good. So, you had to go online, yeah? So that's going to be um, Batman and Joker. <sighs> so still a lot of work left, but sprayed the bar scanner. Yeah, you know. nice green. Yeah, literally. So that, that's going to be That's very cool. Well. So that's the next level, isn't it? That's, that's, that's Instagram it, in its that's finest. It. If I'm on YouTube, yeah? Yeah, yeah. If you're all right with it. There you go. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, man. You have to send me some pictures. I'm going to have a look. Definitely. Oh, nice yeah. to meet you, dude. All right. You too, man. Take care. Mate, all right. Uh, you know, the good thing is that because we're going to be launching electricals as well now. There you go, snap it, there you go. The money going to go down well. Yeah, so snap it, go on Victor. So basically snap it is an instant materials delivery app. We have onboarded multiple different um, merchants and what happens is you buy the materials on the application, we send it to the nearest merchant to delivery location and we use loads of same pizza guys who deliver pizzas to bring your materials to you yeah. in, the, in the snap. So it's ideally delivery before That's plumbers, it. electricians yeah. and the concept is because when we did the Unilight interview on yeah. the podcast I'd never heard anything like it before and it was a cracking idea but obviously you're London based, you're coming up to Birmingham which is closer to us but when you start getting bigger and spreading more You'll be so busy with what's yeah. alone because I cannot be bothered to drive and get bits constantly. <laughs> yeah, on the side. And Adam's yeah. not sure on the van. I'm like, yeah, God, yeah, I need some uh, 3.5 terminal pins. But yeah, it's yeah. a cracking idea. And I, I genuinely hope this goes everywhere because it will it'll be massive use. It's just getting the, the people in it. Yeah. The infrastructure in there, which you, you smash it so far down south. 
Yeah. So yeah. come up further north. Everyone's nicer up here. It's yeah, yeah, everyone's friendly. <laughs> no, I, I love northern people. It's nice. Yeah. Everyone's super friendly. People call us northern, but we're, we're midlands. Yeah. Northerns, they're the any, any, anything for Yeah, <laughs> true, very true. <laughs> anything outside <laughs> this, it's yeah. north. It's soon north. soon as you <laughs> break the M25. Yeah, oh, so it starts oh, smelling a bit out. nicer up here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's that? <laughs> um, right, so we've got that in the bag. But we're going to have a look around okay. something else. All right, thank cool. you very much, mate. You're welcome. See you guys in a little bit. See you soon. All right, ta. Three, two, one. What's up, guys? Sorry, mate. Um, we're Corey, Artisan, Nick, you know who I am. We're Adam, we're Mike, with the lads and the cameras. We're over at Install the Show, and we've come up with a little cool idea. I didn't come up with it, you didn't come up with it, so the influencer thing is nothing to do with us. But what we've yeah. had an idea is we're going to go around as many stands as we can, and we're going to try and blag the most expensive thing for free yeah. in a hour period, should we yeah, say? Yeah, yeah. So um, it should be interesting because not a lot of people are actually selling anything here. It's more of a show thing. It's more of a plumber's thing because there's a lot and of it's boilers. It's the start of the show. Like, it's not just that, it's they need the it's product the, to last. It's the first day, so it's yeah. on for three days. So you're going to get a bit of footage your side, I'll get a bit of footage my side. And uh, yeah, best man, best man wins. Yeah, all right. Thanks, mate. You're right. very tanned, aren't you? Yeah, thank you. Yo, it's Wednesday morning. It is 19 minutes past eight. We're running a little bit late this morning. I'm knackered, I don't know why. I think it's because of yesterday. So we did the uh, installer show yesterday. Massive shout out to everybody that came and said hello. Everyone was lovely. We counted, was it 55, 56 times? Yeah, I was counting because I had a joke with Adam on the way for saying, oh, I wonder how many times, because every show we go to, the more and more we do YouTube, the more and more we get stopped. So if you ever do see us at a show, please don't feel shy, come and say hello. If you want to have a photo, I want to have a good chin wag and chew the fat, please do, because we absolutely love it. I think it was 55, 56 times we, had, we stopped to have pictures with people and whatnot. Still dead strange for us, but yeah. please don't be shy because it is really cool. Oh, I've had a lot of messages asking if we're going to Elex. Yes, we are. We will be going to Coventry Elex. Um, so That's the we'll go there. Yeah. Um, we've got a few cool video ideas that we want to do and for Adam to do. Uh, we've got loads of cool stuff that we picked up yesterday. We had a very, we bumped into Corey. We didn't know Corey was going with the lads from Artisan. And uh, we did a cool little video on that, like really cool video but you'll have to wait and see for when it comes out. Uh, we're super rod, got some stuff, yep. and so I'll show you that in a little bit. We're going to nip to Asda now, because my lad is constantly asking me to go and get... We, I managed to randomly prime, so the Logan Paul KSI drink. Some of you guys might not know, but if you watch YouTube a lot, you'll know who they are. Prime was launched in the UK. It's a hydration drink, and I, we drank some the other day, because I managed to just randomly go in when it was there, bought some, we loved it, and I thought, I could drink this over Monster. Could be my new go-to, but apparently it's very hard to get hold of. So me and Adam are going to nip there, try and get some stuff from my lad and surprise him when he gets home from school. Nip to the unit, get some stuff. We're back over at Sandbach second fixing. Adam's got his new GoPro. Yeah. Adam's doing a few videos today. Look how little it looks when you have all the stuff on it. I know, right? <laughs> and um, yeah, it should be a good day. It's a little plodding day, which is nice because I am shattered. And then tonight, you're meant to as well, but we're meant to be filming. We're both all playing cards. So me, Adam and Kip. Um, I'll put Kip's channel down below, so go and check it out. We're going to be playing COD together, recording it, and doing a bit of a gaming session, which would be uh, which would be interesting. As long as my kids are in bed, because they normally walk in. Can I play too? Not tonight, kids. It's about rear now. It's just gone past ten o'clock. It took way longer because of the uh, the traffic. Adam's new car has just turned up. Here now, I'm just going to grab the key, unlock, show you inside, brief overview of what we're doing. But it's an absolute glorious day, Adam. So. Adam might go for a swim in a minute in the uh, canal, if he's lucky. Or should we do a bet, yeah? Rock, paper, scissors, loser jumps in. Yeah. Fancy it. Well, we're gonna do a bit of second fixing today. Plasma's all done. There's a couple of pendants here and here. This is where the boards go in. This is where we labeled everything up last time. We were here. But I'm gonna do this because this young gentleman's on holiday, obviously, next week, so. And the week after. Oh. So I'm gonna, um, I can put the board on, there's a double din board, fuse box board. We're going to try and recess it out a little bit and cut it into the plaster so it sinks in a little bit. Pendants to go up, a few sockets to go on. We oh, really raise the floor up. Yes, the floor's been in now. So um, it's lovely and warm outside and it's a little bit cooler inside, which is nice. And uh, yeah, second fix. I'm glad you said bring the fast fix patches, Adam, to be fair. So. Is there any in the back? Yeah, yeah, I bought some the other day. And here we are, back at it again, falling out with plasters. So I couldn't figure out because that switch was okay, but it, the cables had been snipped. This switch had a three core in it with a two way for here, a three core in it for the three way with here, and also a two core from here to here. 
but these weren't labelled up either. And we are a stickler, both of us are, for making sure any, as soon as the cable's put in, we've got the Sharpies on, we link it in right on exactly what is what for our benefit in the future, obviously. Because we know in, when these cables are put in, it's going to be months, which it has been months and months and months till we're coming down to, re to second fix because the plasma has taken so long. And then we've come in here, which there's power brought to the switch from that pendant. That's why there's an extra cable there because this was a sort of, there was, this room wasn't meant to be the way it was. The board was meant to go here. There was meant to be a flat roof and that was meant to be the boiler room. And if you go back to the other videos, if, that's why the boiler now is being pushed outside because it was technically meant to be here with the fuse board and the CCTV and everything was meant to be in a big cupboard here. But because of the oak beams, the customer wanted it nice and open, which does look fantastic. So we ran these cables in, and I know these are a bit longer, but we had curled them up in the box. But these were, there's a feed here, there's the switch, and then there's an outside light, which links in, and I think this is the other outside light. Oh, I need to double check now, because you've got two outside lights there and there. I'll double check, I think there's two cables hanging out of it. But there's no writing, there's no markings, there's nothing. And then I've realised they're all cut to the same length, where the plasters obviously just got annoyed with all the cable length. And just snipped them all off. I will find you with my particular set of skills. <laughs> oh, do you know what I mean? Should we just get hammer and just, no, because I like the customer. But yeah, I just, do you know what I mean? Now I've got to go and link everything through all the way up there through into this switch and do the outside stuff to find out what cable does what. Never mate. Plasters. Never mind. And Adam's strikes again. Let me check the microphone's on. Yeah, it's working. I keep doing that. There's one socket in here. Adam said, that's not right. He says, I know I put another socket in here. And the plasters pulled through every single socket and every single one. And I've gone back through my past YouTube video and 300 out from the wall here-ish, you have got this. There should, should, go on, just do it in ad, headbutt it. There should be one there because there's not only going to be just one in this dining room. So once again, we're going to go digging. We will have a look and see if the plaster is right to screw us over. And then I'm definitely going to find him. Well, actually no, because there's about 100 of them. There was quite a few of them, yeah quite big guys as well actually. I'll ask if they've got a bad back first and if they say yes then I'll do something about it. All right, so we've made a bit of a mess so this wall is an external wall and all of these walls were studded off I mean my entire middle finger depth what's that that's seven inches isn't that easy. 100 mil? Uh, not far. 80. Stood off 80 mil, stood in the middle, and there is, so they batten the wall, they put, um, I don't know, an inch layer of Celotex on it, and then it's boarded with a Celotex attached to it. And my cable is all the way back there against the brickwork in front of three layers of um, Celotex, two, three layers of Celotex on plasterboard. So, never would have found that. If Adam never said it, I'd have forgotten about it. And when we'd come to testing or livening it up, we would have figured out. Well, we've only done radials, so half a downstairs wouldn't have worked. This would have been finished walls. We can't access it above because the bathroom's been tiled now. So as much as I say take pictures and diagrams, I only spotted this and exactly where it was is because I rewatched my old YouTube video. And if Adam never said anything, I would never have realised. So Adam, you good job. And plasterers, I'm you coming. I'm coming for you. Honestly, we've come across... A really rare handful of good plasters, and if there's, I know there's a few plasters that watch this, and I, I think if you watch videos of other trades and whatnot, I can see that you'd make the effort to try and help each other out and work as a team, like we try and do. But when you work with people that we don't know and never worked before, they seem to cut them out with a spoon rather than with a tape measure and a knife or anything out of the way. Luckily, this was the end circuit, and I know I've exposed this, so all the square chunks of Celotex, I know I've took the barrier thing off, but they're going back in, and I'm gonna try and wedge it up again and fill the void, but yeah. Not on really, is it guys? Not on. Let me know in the, in the comment below, who do you hate the most? Is it plasters or plasters? Right, so we've left the job. Oh, my iPhone's dangling. Um, it's, what well, do we say it was 30, 20, 30, 37? Hopefully not. Uh, it was like 25 degrees, and it's hot and I, I can't turn the engine on because i want it to be cracking audio for you guys you're welcome uh we've just gone and seen a job on the way home this is in sandwich as well 
The customers have an a annex built in the back garden, back off the back of the garage. Done some awesome drawings, um, got us off YouTube. Really, really nice guy. Uh, so look forward to pricing that up and we can sort of run through, giving us permission to film as on what we want to do uh, with the stuff. So uh, another little interesting one. I think it's going to be home time. We can go back to the unit, but we can just probably do that in the morning anyway. So uh, I've got a list of stuff that I need to do for when Adam's away, getting the power on at the last job, um, smoke alarms, outside lights, all that sort of stuff. So I can stick my headphones in and do a nice little plodding day without anyone annoying me in the background. So, Right, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. It's Thursday morning. Do you know, have you ever seen the woman on TikTok? Blonde woman. She goes to the camera and she goes, it's Tuesday morning, let's get dressed. And then goes and put us the rings and chains. Have you never seen it? <laughs> Some people out there would have seen it. Last night we had a, a different night and it was interesting. Adam said this on his video. I'm not sure how you ended yours actually. We'll get to that in a minute because Adam did a day in the life of. But we, Kip, one of my YouTube members and he did the filming for us, has his own YouTube channel, which I will put below. Kip, Adam and I played COD last night in the new Fortunes Keep map for the very first time. Tried to record ourselves, it'll be over on Kip's channel. Go and check that out. This video will be out beforehand. So when it comes out, I will pin it and let you all on Instagram. Um, also, Kip is designing me a new website at the moment. He's done a great job recently for Jack for JRC. He's done a few guys now, actually. Yeah. Um, I'll put the link below. Kip's doing cracking offers, and you can use Bundy 10 discount as well on his thing for um, well, 10% off on designing websites for a basic one or a really cool whiz fancy one. So um, go and check that out. But I will put that in the link below. And if I don't, please all shout me in the comments and I'll do it immediately, but use my code for it. I'll just tag it, yeah. Yeah, just tell me, just say, Nick, you've done it again. Like, oh, what does that mean? That means so many things. Uh, we're going to go back to the job that we did, which is the extension with the sky disc lights with the JCCs. This morning, it's already, what does it say down there? It's like 20 degrees. Already. 4 million degrees, yep. So I'm trying to do this without the engine on, so it makes it much better for you guys. We're going to do that. We'll get some footage there, see what's going on. The kitchen should have been half fitted, so we can start doing some second fixing. And then we're gonna go and get we're gonna get a cooked breakfast out of our treat here because it's Adam's last day tomorrow for two weeks. And yeah. No, no, you have to cancel it, mate. Um, and uh, so we've got. I'm gonna we'll do a little plodding day tomorrow around the sun for a few bits, making off some army cables and whatnot. So it'd be nice. So uh, come along, guys. Come and join us, and uh, we'll see you at the job. Right, we've just spent an hour absolutely messing around. In I'll put a little video up in a second of us messing around in the extension. So the kitchen fit has been in. Kitchen fit, not bathroom fit. Well, yeah, sorry, guy. kitchen fit has been in, and uh, obviously we did loads of nice sockets with perfect zoning and it was perfectly straight. And it was mwah, when we did it, he then decides to go and try and screw three cubs up directly above cables, and he's nicked three of them. So we had to go and get the tester and test through them. Luckily, they're all just okay. But I'll put a video up now so you can see. Up guys. So yeah, could have been worse, could have gone straight through it. I think sometimes when we do it, we should just power it up while we do it. Have some connector blocks at the end. Uh, connector blocks. Put them sockets there. Uh, yeah, everyone. on. Power up. So if he goes through it, then we know he's gone through it. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Um, we're going up to the unit now, got a few things to do, and then we're over at a friend's house this afternoon doing some skirting, believe it or not, that I booked in last week, last Friday, when I said I palmed her off and we had the afternoon off, so uh, we'll see you there. Right, much as time has passed, uh, we've just done a little video on a Bosch Go, uh, cheap versus expensive, one I bought off Amazon. Just a cool little test with it, ended up running over them to see if they would work, you have to watch the video and find out. That was interesting. Come here to the unit now, pick up the chop saw, go to my friend's house, do some skirting. <sighs> yeah. But anyway, on to today's sponsor of the video, which is Tradeify. Adam, what does Tradeify do? Your job management app. And what can you do on this job management app? Everything and everything. Everything and everything, which I'll delve, delve in a little bit more. That is invoicing, estimates, uh, quotations, same thing. Um, Cool little thing they've brought into now is electrician's uh, certificate software, which I'm just trying at the moment. See if there's any uh, little tweaks we can make to it to make it more perfection for us to use. Uh, and I'm really enjoying it. It saves time when you're at work and at home. The best thing is you can do the stuff while you're at work. And when you get home, if you haven't already, click send. The customer gets the invoice with your certification software attached. It's all done in one go. 
delicious. No more paperwork means you've got time, more time to watch Love Island or my videos. It's up to you. Hit the link below, 50% off for the first three months. It's Friday, finally. What are you going to start singing the song then? <laughs> it's Friday, uh, it's Adam's last day. Yeah. <laughs> Any words you want to tell your Dorian fans? You're going to uh, miss everyone. You're going to miss well, me. They'll see snippets of me and all that. Yeah, they? so I'm just going to take some, some little snapshots, a little couple of seconds from each day. And then when I do episode four for next week, I'm going to incorporate every time I'm doing something. I'm probably not a lot. I'm probably yeah. not doing a lot. I've rang, I'm getting Mikey, I'm seeing Dave. I've got the board change to do. I've got a handful of things to do. And uh, I just told him off. Bye. Trying to wear bloody joggers all day to school. I don't think so. Not under my roof. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put a little snippets of Adam uh, having a beer, having a swim, having loads of pizza. Well, you just swim in a little yeah. lake. You'll come back the same size as me. That's not going to happen. Uh, so we've got two jobs to see this morning. Yep. Uh, one, which is a bit of a sad story, really. It's one of them you don't really normally take over someone else's work. That's really the ideal thing. I think with NIC, you're not allowed to. Nape it. I don't know. It's a fine line of doing it. Someone's first fixed a kitchen and done some stuff, uh, but the electrician actually passed away. He was an older guy, um, passed away a good couple of months ago. They've gone in contact with us, so we're going to go across there, see what we can do, help out, and, uh, and finish off with next... And it should be next week, because it's landed on us quite quickly. And then I'm going to see a board change, EV charger, outside socket, something like that. I got a text last night, and then we're going to go over to a little summer house and run a little armour cable. It's very simple. There's a few switch spur running to an armour cable to an outside socket. There's a tiny summer house that we've put one socket in and a few spur for an LED light. Yeah, so we're just putting another armour from that uh, outside socket across. So um, come with us. Come on this journey. We left that job now, and it's a lot more to it than we thought, which is fine. The kitchen is all done and it's plastered. It just needs second fixing which I'm gonna go and do, not a problem. And the downstairs, he rewired the whole place and it's got stuff, so there's a few things like missing that need like second fixing or stuff. It's got an 18th edition board, Wilex split load, just, which is in and the other stuff's hanging up. It, it, there's a lot to it, but then makes it more close to my heart. He's actually, the electrician didn't pass away. He actually took his own life, which the customers just told us about. Um, quite local to us as well. I didn't know the, the chap, but uh, it's always a sad story when you hear that. And, um, horrible to hear, and um, I'm sorry to hear it, to be honest, and for the family and, and himself and everything, but um, we'll happily take the job on and help the uh, the people out, because the, the house is a bit upside down. I'm trying to get them a bit square, a bit safer for the kids. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can get some second fixing and a video done there next week if they give me permission while he's on holiday. And uh, yeah, we're just at the wholesalers now, which is here. Gonna grab some armor cable, nip to the unit, drop off the chop saw, which did the laminate, not the laminate floor, and the skirting yesterday. Yep. And go see this other job as well. We're over our little somewhere else. They've decided to pull the cable through next to the wooden joist. A few spur on there with a the three amp fuse in. Socket here, socket here, can monster here, and a few cacti. Cacti, not cactus. I'm gonna do the side doing the whisker box with the armor cable. Nice easy day. It's not too. It's not hot to be fair. Because you imagine coming in here when it was forty-seven degrees outside. Oh. Friends of the family, known for absolutely years. When I was a wee small fat chunky little boy, uh, we're gonna do this and then think. I need. I'm gonna give it to my brothers because my niece's birthday today. Third birthday. Sammy, happy birthday from your famous uncle. And uh, knew about stuff, and I got a little surprise for Adam, which he doesn't know about yet. So we'll see. It's a fact. Right, we we nipped over to Tesco, and uh, the day's done. Adam, how are, you, how are you feeling? How are you feeling that everything's done and dusted, and you're feeling okay, and you're ready for your holiday? Yeah. Tell everyone what you're doing tomorrow. Uh, gonna cut most of my hair off. He's having a buzz cut. Yeah, hence everyone's probably whinging in the comments. Saying, get rid of all your bump floor. Yeah, we've, we've seen we've seen a few in the past. Yeah, so I've had the same, don't worry, mate. I've been lasting out just because I was going to get my hair cut last week, but obviously I'm going all day Tuesday or Monday, something like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get hair cut. You told me Tuesday. Yeah, I think it's Tuesday. Best bit, where well, you can go to work on Monday. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> 
spray that. So you say I've got the, No, uh, don't. Don't on. spray that. Yeah, so if you like to spray stuff in your car and whatnot, but my God, don't spray it while you're in it. I absolutely die. Um, you know, Adam. Adam just thought I got this for me. Got you some euros for holiday. Oh, thank you. Genuinely. Yeah. Honestly, it's yours. I don't want it back once I've filmed this. I'm not going to end it. I'm going to buy that. Um, Cheers. Get yourself a beer. Um, I will carry on with next week. I'm here, there, and everywhere. It's not going to be a usual week for anyone at all. Our weeks probably aren't as usual, everyone else's <laughs> anyway. So, um, yeah, like, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, this is the end of episode three. Take care now. Bye bye then. Bye.